life. It comes in all shapes and forms. And from the province to the city, I really appreciate its diversity. There used to be like a big sign there saying bye bye, but it's gone. I'm sorry, my adventures are not very exciting recently. But I'm heading back up to the farm. There were a few last remaining ones that haven't been replanted. So that was either I was just short of seedlings before or others from when I planted them last time it was hot and a lot of them died just from the heat which well unfortunately is the way it goes. There was a two week stretch without any rain at all. That's going to be difficult for anything. Let's head up there first and see what else happens because maybe something will happen. Turning off the highway and traversing a familiar road that's in much better shape than it used to be. Direct down, I've got a song in my head as well. Don't know what's going on. So what we're looking at now is, we're hopefully seeing much more even growth. And I see on this side already, these look a lot more green, full of, full of leaves and so on from the fertilizer I'm using. This one here, you can probably see here, these are the old leaves, darker green, and these are new, like green and larger. And a lot of them on both sides now are really starting to take hold and are really starting to just go boom, which is what I wanted to see. We'll be back here tomorrow, but for now, let's go and experience life. Superman! <laughs> ah, ah, diggy diggy. Let's go mill some rice because we don't have any rice. Oi! Me mock out cargado! And as Koya went to handle the carbs, I noticed a multi-cab full of protein. Hey, press go back. No, 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 no. Ah, isal, isal lang kay. Oi. Wanta kang na, isal, isal lang kay. Gamay lang mi, gamay lang mi. Oh, oh, tulo lang mi. Oh, ni tuan kay na, Asa ni gikan ta ko mo? Tagum. Thank you. Thank you. Salamat. 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 There we go. We got dinner as well. Tabot ni, tabot ni. Asigi. Pas pa tulo. Gara ka kuan. <laughs> oh, what you can see in there is the rice mill. You pay three pesos a kilo for that, so 56 kilos there. So one sack's roughly 150 pesos to mill. You also see there's something else coming out the side called tahop. That stuff is that thin powdery stuff. Don't get it on your skin, it's really itchy. I made that mistake once. But that stuff's used for feeds for pigs and for chickens. So there's always something used from this milling process. Everything's used. And that's a mill, I don't know what else to say, and it's very loud, and I can't hear myself think. So let's do what we came to do. I've got the fish, now I've got the caramancy for it. Just need soy sauce, right? And chili, oh no, we've got chili, we've got chili. So these ones, I like the first time we did it. It's a marcotted one, they put in the bagging and they take care of it in the nursery for I think a month or two. So I buy these for 30 pesos each, compared to the Marcotte, which is 15. Much greater survival rate and they grow quicker too. So this is kind of sure, sure, you know? Look how you go on, Bahalina. Too big. Too big, like. And they're off to lose on. He buys that cow on, fair one, go on. <laughs> and hopefully this is the last I have to buy. It's, I mean, deaths are natural when it comes to plants and in fact anything that's alive, deaths are natural. And we're back in the rice mill. I'm on and go on, Bugas. Going back to basics sometimes is really the best. Someone, <laughs> <laughs>
Lutokal man oh go on Namok. <laughs> Delicious foods can be as simple as just vinegar, onions, garlic, and tomatoes. Which brings us to the next day, getting 250 of these into the ground. Gotta be so careful with these coming down this road. I'm just happy it's been graded about a month ago. It's still in fairly good shape. So slowly does it, slowly does it. Back in February, we planted around 2,600 Karamansi. And now that the rains are more reliable, we're going to replace those that have died. And we're back. So we're gonna unload all of these out. These ones, since these ones have died maybe twice, gonna add a bit of this. This is a bit of humus, humic acid. It's like a soil conditioner. Just because in some places, the soil's just not good enough to support life. So we're gonna improve it a little bit. <laughs> And the best planters, they really have that green thumb. This is my only issue right now. I've just noticed this today. There's some spider webs and the leaves are getting bitten and we're using an insecticide and so on, but it seems like, I don't know. I'm gonna ask the technician that. Or maybe the spiders are just a sign of healthy soil and aren't a problem at all. In fact, they eat insects. One, two, three. The ones that die are often clumped together in one single area. So it's normally a difference in the soil, different type of weed or other attacker. Mm. That's why digging out the roots around the plants is so important. So the soil preparation is very, very key. Loosen up the soil, put some topsoil in the bottom, put some humus in it, just really so it's got a good base. Loose soil around it so it doesn't hold water, it doesn't get stuck up because these don't like too much water. The roots will just rot. Boots, but no hat. I always forget something, but I think I have sun cream here. I hope I do anyway, otherwise good luck. I did something right, only two things two of three. Speaking of spiders, I saw this guy play around in the grass before realising he'd much rather go back to the safety of his web. Down here they're digging canals to keep the ground around where calamansi is planted dry and so we can impound the water in the future. I got a few too many. I think we've got maybe 50 too many. Of course, some of the seedlings, as is natural, just aren't gonna, aren't gonna be good. They'll grow, they'll stay alive, but they're gonna be stunted. So we're gonna replace them with these that are much stronger. This will be the last time I do this, which is good. Famous last words. And guess who showed up right away? No spider, why problem no spider? No spider, I sent him a photo earlier and he said, I'm in Laak, I'll come and see you. <laughs> Which is nice. Kulang siya og zinc. The solution? We can spray something with the insecticide. Oi! Murag Mountain Goat! Kambinka! And in the distance? Some familiar faces. I have a delivery, very, very important delivery. 
This can be my passerdo bonk. Hopefully we're not going to burn it this time. Five, five kilos, Oh, sige, sige. I don't know. I'm a sick cat. I'm a sick cat. i <laughs> but this is just a short taste of province life because I'm going to head back to the city today. Heading back towards the city again from one type of life to another. It's, it's funny how when we're in the city we want to escape to the province, we want to escape to the countryside, we want to escape somewhere far away but after a few days out in the province Sometimes we also want the familiarity of the city. Or sometimes, as in my case, I need to go and find a mechanic. I've got to go to the city. And in a way, these guys are also mechanics. My mudak. Oi! Naka! Wapo, yung amigo na buwa. Ah! Tabong yung uniform. Top Gun! Oi! John Lloyd. Tom Cross of the Philippines. Okay, da. What's that? Long time, what's that? Long time, good. Long time, what's that? Oh, what's that? Okay, Raka, oh, yo. Hey! I don't know, I don't know. Hey! Bagong, bagong sticker. Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, we found this in Kabigan. The new packaging, the new. Barrel. Formulation. The beer is still the same. Oh, like it's like it's like San Miguel Super Joy. Yeah. Oh, so say so, so. This is this is good. I mean, this is good. Let me go, yo. Hey, boots are El Salvador. Hey, very good. It's Supporting me now. now. Yeah, this, this is my best friend. <laughs> so. This is my the artista. Sigi, sigi, udo ko. Ah, okay, sigi, see you soon, see you soon. Ah, salamat, salamat, I'm ping. So now it's time to go and see the real mechanic. Amigo! <laughs> What's that? <laughs> ah, oh, rotate So I'm doing the regular wheel balance rotation, but also this part here is the tie rod end and rack end. This controls the steering, and they've really worn. There's a lot of play. That's dangerous. So change those out. <laughs> anyway, what was I saying? I was talking about parts, wasn't it? Good quality stuff as well. Japanese. And then they found something that gave me so many questions. How? Why? What's like the second bolt of that size? I've, I don't understand. But the tyre didn't deflate at all, which is impressive. So now we're going to have Wanga, oi! Oh! So smakuhaka! Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready for deflation? Grab here, oi! What's the matter? One, sa brake sa motor. Huh? Brake, yan yo. I'm a ow. Ah, na ay moto, wai kwan, wai ati man. Sada waka and buzzla, oi! Electric fan! <laughs> I was about to go on a rant about how I hate people throwing bolts on the road. But no, that wasn't. That was just something came loose. Fixing the under chassis and patching up the tyre weren't a problem though. And one wheel alignment later, I was ready to go. Chief mechanic. <laughs> Chief mechanic. <laughs> and I'd been invited for lunch at a new Swedish Thai place. Hello, man. Hey, hello. <laughs> How are you? The vlogger. 
Billy Jeans is the brainchild of a Swedish restaurateur named Billy and his Filipino wife Jean, who met in Thailand. Hence the random combination of cuisines here. Yeah, that's some good advice. We brine it overnight. Then after that we cut it and then we marinate it with uh, the dressing that we use. Yeah. And then uh, that is a homemade uh, brioche toast that we're making here. It's a balsamic reduction and uh, some uh, caviar and dill. I don't even know how to cut into this. I don't do gourmet. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not that classy. Toast Skagen, a Swedish shrimp on toast classic, known as an elegant appetizer. Wow, that bread's amazing. I can't describe the taste. It's very, very creamy. The shrimp is not too shrimpy, so that's not overpowering. Nothing's overpowering. It's just kind of fruity, creamy, and the bread, the bread reminds me of a McDonald's burger for some reason. But it's amazing. It's really, this is, this is fantastic. That's, this is their speciality. The, the owner of this place is actually a Swedish chef who lived in Thailand for 25 years. So they have both types of cuisine. You can find everything in Dava. It's been 10 years since I had one of these. Not too strong. Oh, that's good. Mm. Oh, wow, the caramancy really comes through. Speaking of calamansi, now it's made into something even more useful. This is awesome. That's just right. This is definitely Mexican. But then... That oh, is goodness. absolutely Potato. incredible. Oh, They'd wow. recommended me this Thai dish. I'm, je I'm so excited about this. This is, they call this the Quying Tiger Steak. So that's the most popular steak in Thailand. Tamarind chili butter. And I think, what's this on top? Oh no, that's more butter. Ah, just wow. Wow, wow, win. I'm very, I'm so excited for this. They insisted I try this. I promise. Okay. <coughs> the chili just got me. <coughs> that's so good. It's got a bit of spice. <coughs> Is it halang? Halang it. But wow, that's amazing. That's just so tender. And the butter is so creamy. Flavor. Flavor overload. I'm, I'm dying from chili, but <coughs> gotta get rid of that. Okay. This is like when I eat Tiola Itum. The first taste is always like that. But once you adjust, it's okay. And there's some eggplant. Let's see how the eggplant is. Wow. No idea how they cook that, but the spices are perfect. I, I, I love food. Did I ever tell you? I'm glad you brought me here. <laughs> I'm, I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be back several times, for sure. And this is where I really appreciate the city. Mm. Wow. That's perfect. I've been eating too much and I forgot to introduce the guys who are here with me. This is... They're all in Canada. Yes, from Canada. And these guys, if you remember back to the early days of 2021, I went over to Shargao where they were doing water projects. So that's their NGO. So these guys are doing great, great work here and also know the best foods. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Awesome. <laughs> Can we just say something here? Yes, go, 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 go. When we were stuck home in Canada during the pandemic, we were really missing the Philippines and we didn't even know if we were going to get back. And if it wasn't for people like Commander Doy, Aslam, and a few other bloggers, we would have, I don't even know if we would have made it, would we? Yeah, it was difficult. It was difficult. Well, this would not. Because we've been here 17 years now, so mm -hmm. when we watch your videos, it's like, oh, we've been there, we've been there, we've been yeah. there. Yeah. But you've been so many places we've never yeah. been, but yeah. Uh, yeah. it's exciting. We love yeah. it here. Yeah. We love helping kids and families with clean water for life and mm -hmm. having the adventure. Mm -hmm. yeah. And following this guy on yeah, the yeah. adventures to follow him. And we love food too. <laughs> I love food. I actually, I, I, I keep saying I'm going to go on an adventure with these guys to one of their projects, another one in the mountains soon. Not just for the food. But there will be yeah. food when we're there. So There's always food in the Philippines. Yeah. <laughs> and they just showed up. This is Billy. 
And this is G, and we're really jeans. I love, I, I like how you've done that. I'm, I'm gonna start singing. Thanks, <laughs> Mika. Yeah. That was in Swedish. Uh, thank you. And since we're looking from Thailand, Kapunka. Uh, nah. Oh, and the mango sticky rice just came yeah, past. Just... <laughs> Brilliant timing. Yeah, you spent 25 years, 24 years in Thailand, right? And now, now here. Yeah. Awesome. I'm, I'm the food squid. Great to meet you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And some things can be enjoyed both in the city and in the province. Later. You know, I sometimes wonder to myself that I always come back to food. Food is what I always, always seem to do. And I, I realized that's because the one thing that all of us hopefully do every day is eat. So I think it's kind of relatable. And it also tells us a lot about a place a lot about the ingredients that are available and we can learn a lot through that i find and from the simplicity of the food out in the province that's delicious too to to food from other countries that served in the cities here the life in the province and the life in the city they're different and i'm not possibly going to say one's better than the other i actually have the honor and the privilege to spend time in both in between and I like that because you see more sides of life some balance is good this has been good from well from the calamansi farm to a calamansi mojito that just seemed appropriate I like drawing inappropriate links where there is none at all but there kind of is because the produce comes into the cities and becomes something else the the food from the province also in the province become something else. It's what we produce. And I'm gonna enjoy this beer later, in a while, when it's cold. See you next time.